In this video, we'll provide the solution to question number 14 for practice exam number three for math 1210. We're asked to use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative of the function y equals x to the x power. So when it comes to logarithmic differentiation, we take our function, our equation, y equals x to the x. We have to take the natural log of both sides. So take the natural log of y on the left-hand side and take the natural log of x to the x on the right-hand side. The whole point of logarithmic differentiation is to expand these expressions using logarithmic properties. So the natural log of x to the x, because of the laws of logarithms, we can bring that x out as a coefficient. So we get x times the natural log of x. And now we're gonna take the derivative of both sides. So we take the derivative of the natural log of y, and we take the derivative of x times the natural log of x. And we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So, I mean, be aware we're taking the derivative with respect to x in both of these situations. That will be clear on the right hand side but it's important you know this on the left hand side because then when you take the derivative on the left hand side you're going to get y prime over y the nice thing about logarithmic differentiation if you have an explicit function relationship like you do here then the left hand side when you take the derivative will always look like y prime over y the right hand side will depend on the function itself the product rule is going to come into play here we have to take the derivative of x times that by the natural log and then we're going to take the derivative of the natural log of x times that by x so we see that y prime over y, this is gonna equal, well, the derivative of x is just one, so we get one times the natural log of x. And then the derivative of the natural log of x is gonna be one over x, like so. Simplifying the right-hand side, we get the natural log of x plus one. This is equal to y prime over y. Many of us stop at this moment thinking that we're done, but no, we didn't find the derivative yet. We found y prime divided by y. So to solve for the derivative, we need to times both sides by y so that they cancel on the left-hand side and we just have a y prime. But then we get that y prime equals y times the natural log of x plus one. As the original function was given explicitly, what we need to do is write the derivative explicitly as well. So we need to make this substitution in right here. And so we see that the derivative y prime is gonna equal x to the x times the natural log of x plus one, which is then the correct derivative of our function, which we found logarithmically.